Hey everybody, it's Dr. Volk, and I'm finally back with another video. I'm sorry I was not able to get another video out for so long. I had issues with school and all, and I've got to get them ready, so you know. Okay, so today I'm going to be drawing a gift for my doctor, my lovely doctor, Dr. Miller. He'll be right up there. Yeah, he's he's retiring this year, and... I can't say he doesn't deserve it. I cannot say that. That would be a lie to say that he does not deserve to retire because he's just been so great. He's touched so many people in my area. Um, he's been pretty much the only doctor I've ever known. He is the only doctor I've ever known. He's my doctor, dang it. Hey, who's your doctor? Um, is it uh, Tom Baker? <laughs> David Tennant? Matt Smith? Dr. Miller? He's... Oh, he was, he's so great. He's so great. It's gonna be sad to see him go, though. Because... Because everything, he, he's the only doctor I've ever had, he understands me, he understands me and my brothers, you know, I've never, you know, we've never had to any, really explain anything to him, because that's all we've ever known, it's just Dr. Miller, that's it. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do without our amazing Dr. Miller? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. My my final checkup with him is soon. It's coming soon. I think it's to get shots. Yeah. Sorry, uh, anti-vax kids, anti-vax parents. I want to live today. <laughs> I want to live. I want to increase my lifespan for a few more years. Is that okay with you? No? Too bad. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm actually not doing very well on this. I probably should have practiced on this. Probably should have gotten a, a pose or something before I just decided to just start drawing. That's my fault, by the way. It's okay. I'll probably remake this entire video later on. Oh, before I go any further, um, I am part of the American Red Cross Association. I'm part of a national campaign to help raise a whole bunch of money, like $50,000, to help install fire equipment, to help fire install fire alarms in, across the country, because you know... Fire safety is important. I'm sure Dr. Miller would agree. <laughs> the chances of... The more decreased chances of you are having a fire is an increased chance of you living longer. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to raise about, like, $330. Because we have a, I have a whole team. We have a whole team working with this on this. And if, you know, if you, if you think you can help out with us on our journey, then uh, you can click the link down in the description below. My crowd rise right there. And you can donate. If you cannot donate for whatever reason, that's okay. That's perfectly okay. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking through this video. Because I'm sure none of you wants to hear, like, Oh, this is sponsored by... <laughs> in your video. But yeah, technically not sponsored by them. It's just a volunteer thing. And if you cannot donate for any reason, then at least, at the very least, share this information with other people. So that they can, uh, so that people who can donate will 
because, you know, we want to stall these fire alarms, unless you're a anti-fire alarmist. I don't know. At least they probably exist. I'm definitely remaking this once I'm finished. Oh yeah, I just put a nostril. I'm hardcore. Look at that. What? Dr. Volk never draws a nostril. Never draws nostrils. Never. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake things up a bit. Just a bit. Um... So yeah, back to Dr. Miller, because this is, this is about him. Uh, yeah, he's the only doctor I've ever known. And frankly, I am not excited to see a new doctor. I am, I almost want to eat more apples. Before, I was like, what, eat an apple a day? But no, I like apples, but I like my doctor. I don't want to keep him away. <clears throat> well, uh, looks like, uh, looks like he's finally eaten a few apples of his own, and it's that time. It's that time to retire. Everyone's been retiring lately, like, oh my goodness. Then again, he is like 60-something years old. <laughs> so, yeah, and he's been so devoted. It's so amazing. He deserves a rest. I'm not going to deny that. He deserves his rest. Let me just check the camera and see. It's still going, and we are still rolling. We are still rolling. Yeah. So, yeah. Of course, I am going to probably remake this entire video but i'm gonna keep this original video just in case i end up watching this liking this a bit more i'm gonna give him nice bushy eyebrows because he is pretty bushy eyebrows i'll put like a few lines on his head to show status it looks like his arms are crossed. <laughs> looks like his arms are crossed. You know what, I'm actually... You know, I'm gonna keep it like that. I was actually gonna change it just now, but... Then I realized, hey look, this is, this is pretty perfect already. Um... In the reference photo, he's actually carrying a MacBook Pro. So instead of a clipboard, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a MacBook Pro. I used to have a MacBook Pro, two actually, but the first one got yeah, it got water on it. And of course, you're not supposed to put water on a computer near a computer at all, anywhere, anyway. But yeah, but this was just like one drop and it died completely. And let me just turn this for a bit so I can draw the Apple logo. This is not sponsored by Apple, by the way. But yeah, Apple products are incredibly weak to water. Incredibly. Like, of course, you don't want to put water near a computer anyway, but... I'm just saying, it was bad, and I lost everything. It would have been cheaper to buy a n completely new computer than to fix that fried circuit board. So, yeah. That was bad. I kind of, I kind of... I also have another MacBook Pro that kind of works, but it's really dumb, so I never use it. But yeah. that That's just a whole tangent on me and MacBook Pros. I love how every time, like, ever since, 
like I never knew about the MacBook Pro before I got one. And then after I'm, my MacBook Pro was lost, I saw them everywhere on movies, on TV. I feel like the world was just taunting me. MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. Hey, look, isn't that that computer you you had that was destroyed? The world is a cruel, cruel place. But luckily, we have people like Dr. Miller who make this world not suck completely. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am, I'm not ready. I am not ready. Like. I just can't do it. I don't know, maybe I'll put a Doc McStuffins background over under it. Whoa, I think I've started to draw faster than I did before. Yeah. Let's see the time for this. 11 minutes. Just 11 minutes. That's, that's pretty quick. Okay. So, there we go. And there we go. I'm just going to sign this. I'll probably redo this. But in just in case I don't, I'm... But just in case I end up sticking with this version, I'm going to keep it. And, yeah. So, once again, please uh, see what you can do to help the Red Cross um, with the crowd rise. Just trying to sound the alarms. Save, uh, install those fire alarms. And, uh, yeah. Oh, before I go, my doctor, Dr. Miller, he has a book out, The Burden of Being Champ, and no, it's written... Hey. Sorry about the cut there. There's a book... He has a book out, The Burden of Being Champ. I'm not sure if it's available in your area. You, it's probably available on Amazon or something. Yeah, please check it out. He's awesome. It, I just... Yeah. So, there you go. Thank you all for watching. I hope he enjoys this video if released. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.